You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Hi, welcome to the first of what I hope will be a series on all of the E100 Essential Bible Readings. The first reading is Genesis chapters 1 and 2, which of course is the right place to start. The notes from the E100 team by Whitney Cunningham on this passage begin Right from the start, the Bible introduces us to its main character. I love that. And then I started to think about it. For the first hearers, that wouldn't have been true. They knew that Elohim means gods, powers that control the world. So when they read Bereshit bara Elohim, in the beginning, gods created, they didn't need to be introduced to the main character. What they needed was to discover that the main character was quite strikingly different from what they had always heard, from what they knew. In their world everyone knew that Elohim was plural, gods, and that the world was controlled by a whole bunch of powers, the god of this, the god of that, the god of the other. And here in this chapter they discover gradually different. This Elohim is radically singular. Our world's different from that. We don't need to learn that God is singular. That we assume. We need to learn about God. We need to be introduced to the main character of the Bible. We don't have gods to unlearn. Either way, those very first words are really important. The second paragraph of the notes, I'm afraid, is just plain wrong. It says that next the Bible tackles the question, how do we explain the origins of the universe? It doesn't. This isn't a just-so story, not even one dictated by God. It tackles the bigger questions. Why are we here? Why is there a world? Why is everything, including people? What's it all about? What's it all for? Those are the questions that these chapters tackle and they're much bigger and more important questions than how do we explain the origins of the universe but I'm glad that the notes notice the two strikingly different kinds of answer that are offered here and maybe that explains why in this reading package of 100 passages these two chapters are put together as just one reading rather than being read separately the book calls these two the big picture, that's chapter 1 up to verse 3 or so of chapter 2, and the human interest story, and those are quite good titles for them, because chapter 1 does give us the big picture, majestic, glorious, and chapter 2 does give us a very interested in humans story. When I'm introducing these chapters to people, I very often get them to do an exercise of drawing on a big sheet of paper a strip cartoon that tells the story of each of these two chapters and when you do that and you look at what you've drawn and you talk it through and you ask the question what's this telling us you notice that in both chapters there is a strong focus on God as creator and that's something that our world needs to learn and relearn and discover again and you also discover that there is a strong emphasis in both chapters on why humans are made in chapter 1 it's to reflect God's rule we're made for worship and we're made as partners with God and with each other and in chapter 2 it's for relationship with each other and with God though for the end with God you probably need to read on into chapter 3 which you'll be getting tomorrow so in both chapters also notice that humans have a special responsibility for the rest of creation these chapters tell us that we are special it's not just speciesism. We're special. But we're caretakers and not owners of the rest of creation. Now, that provides the foundation for a strikingly, radically ecological theology. We don't have the right to rule creation for our own benefit and for our own sake. If we rule creation, it is as caretakers on behalf of the Creator. We are to look after, to take care of creation, to manage it on God's behalf. I recently preached a sermon on the first three words of the Bible, Bereshit bara Elohim, in the beginning God created. 
so I'd better stop quick, or this will become the five-hour and not the five-minute Bible. See you tomorrow? Bye. <laughs>